Hello, hello, it's Kevin here. Video time again. So this is uh, introduction 27 of 101 inductions. This is also um, topic four from Cambridge 19. That's our latest book of previous papers. So we've done all the Cambridge uh, 19 current uh, essays. So I'll be posting if you are following in my group, IELTS 9 Pro, on Telegram, links are below. Uh, I'll be posting some uh, newly reported topics and we'll be working on those, okay? So anyway, this is from Cambridge 19. It's important for everyone, including young people, to save money for their future. Do you agree or disagree? Bit of paraphrasing here, blah, blah, blah. There's a thesis state, um, and, but I'll just get straight on to a full essay and explain. So. Saving for the future is an essential habit that ideally everyone should practice, especially young people. So, okay, you can see how I've paraphrased that. I strongly agree as it promotes fiscal responsibility, helps individuals plan for the future and to meet whatever setbacks life may throw at them. Okay, so it's for everyone, but you have to include why young uh, people should, should uh, do it as well. Typically, as... <laughs> We know uh, young people don't really save. Obviously, when I was young, I used to spend it. Every penny that I earned, I would spend it. So anyway, that's why it uh, includes young people here. Now, I won't read all this out. You can, you can read it yourself. But so sentence one, right? Saving allows people to have a financial cushion to pay for their life events. Okay. What does that mean? As we mature, circumstances require... We need surplus cash to pay for both expected and unexpected obligations. Right, what does that mean? So, for example, we may want to go on a dream holiday, get married, have kids, be able to pay for their education, elderly parents may need care, etc. With this in mind, setting aside uh, small amounts consistently, investment or savings account, can grow substantially, which can help to pay for all eventualities. Okay. Now, young people, why is it good for them? Well, as I mentioned in the introduction, promotes fiscal responsibility, helps develop financial response. Ability, as I say, you know, this may seem counterintuitive. However, they learn the value of money, discipline, easy to manage financial obligations in adulthood, paying off loans. This financial safety net promotes peace of mind and reduces stress for both young and old people, as well as providing them with emergency funds for unforeseen expenses. Okay, in conclusion, blah, 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 blah. 288 words. That's, you know, that's it. That's all that you need. I just put it there so you can uh, read it all at your convenience. Now, we've got some, as always, we've got five introductions. And I have to say, these introductions are pretty good. I and mean, we've got one complete essay for me to have a, a look at. So that's what we're doing now. You know, we're still doing the five introductions, but then I'm going to take a look at one complete essay. So um, I didn't make any any changes. I just took out youngsters are also included because you can just say it's widely acknowledged youngsters included. So you don't need that. But all of these introductions are pretty, pretty good. Answer the question. Why? Answer the question. I mean, it's it's basically saying the same thing, really. Uh, Certainly crucial practice, including young people, financial, you know, it's basically exactly the same. Now, the only thing that I didn't like and that I um, high lighted was this you don't really need this sentence if you look at it okay i mean today's fast-paced world all right, all right. financial security it's crucial and there's certainly a so agree so if you look at it we don't really need this because you've answered the question why because financial independence challenges later in life so it's not an exploration you're not being asked to explore anything. You're asked to um, answer the question, which is, 
Do you agree or disagree? Yes, I do. No, I don't. All right, so that sentence is superfluous. And this one's good. That's the essay we'll, we're going to have a look at. Now, first things first, 437 words, way too long, way too long. 300, all right, that's all. You don't need to write any more. Why make things harder? No need to do so. Now, I highlighted this paragraph here because if we took this paragraph out, it wouldn't change this essay for the worse. In fact, it would probably make it better. Let's have a look. So that's good introduction. Financial safety net helps us afford what we may find on affordable net. Now, I highlighted this sentence here because it doesn't make a lot of sense. And you don't need it. Cohesion, coherence, so good. The money management requires saving money for later financial security. Okay, what does that mean? Running into debt is the least significant consequence of downgrading the import. Not so easy to understand. It's a bit obtuse and we don't need it. If we take it out and go straight from that to unforeseen problems and expect, uh, and unexpected expenses, that makes a lot more sense. All right, so I'll take that sentence out. This paragraph, what do we need it for? We don't, All right, you know. Do you agree or disagree? Everybody should save. Okay, so this is, you know, talking about saving is good. Okay, when you're talking about young uh, people here, but you don't really need that. I, I would have changed this paragraph to maybe the focus on young people because we don't need all this, 457 words. I mean, in normative exam conditions, who's going to really write 457 words? A lot of you will be, be struggling to write uh, 300 words, you know? Financial goals, I thought that's saving over teenage years, sort of my parents, you know. So either take that out or take that out. We don't need all these ideas. We don't gonna need them, you know. So if if you really want to to keep that paragraph, then take this one out. Okay? Because we don't need it. We don't need both. Okay, so it's pretty good stuff, right? The grammar's good, excellent language. It's just, we don't need both these paragraphs, not as such. You could keep that, that, um, that one because it talks about young people. Okay, and you could maybe change that one, switch the focus. Now, the other thing is though, see, so you're talking about saving and investing, you know? So it's like mm, saving and investing are not necessarily the same. So saving, you can just put it in a bank account, but invest it because lots of savings accounts are investment accounts. Also, it depends on your country as to what it is, you know? So actually, if we think on, right, probably would be better to get rid of that, right? Get rid of that because we don't actually need that. So if we get rid of that and if we keep this instead. So that means you don't have to talk about what's what's the difference between saving and investing. Is it the same thing? Because it's here, both saving and investing are important. So let me see, if we take out that now, let me see, right. Let me see if I can Cut the words down now and see what we've what we've got now. So I'll copy this out. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, copy and V. Right. So get rid of that. Um, got rid of that one. Okay. So we check the word count for this now. I think this is going to be a lot more manageable. Mm, 308. That's better. A lot better. A lot better. All right. So that's what I would do. 308 words. Excellent. So now, mm, what would I give this? I would give this one probably eight. 
this version here, I, I would probably give this eight. I'm not going to go into all the um, criteria. I did that in the previous video, but I would probably give this one eight because it's pretty good. But the previous version, it's, you know, you might get seven because it's a little bit lengthy and you've got all this extra stuff, you know. So if you want to get good at scores, you know, it's like um, Payland posted something in the um, group just last week. Every sentence has got to have a purpose. Every paragraph also. So we don't really need all this, you know. So I would do it like this, and that's better. A lot better. Okay. So now uh, I'll put mine up, and I'll leave it for you to... Uh, peruse and have a look at 280 you see now i i get all my you know all my main ideas and i only took me 288 words that's enough for me to to write in 30 minutes to have five minutes to make a plan to write it and then to have five minutes to go back and check writing task one and two all right so in terms of strategy you don't need 400 odd words Get it concise, 300-ish, then you've got time to go back and check it out. Correct your grammar, spelling, punctuation errors, etc. Okay? Right, so, hope that helps. I'm going to post a new topic um, momentarily. So, I'll see you next time. Okay.